Greetings, golden illuminated ones of the new earth, shining your brilliant lights into the divine matrix of the golden age of heaven on earth. Today is day nine of the full anchoring of new earth into the field of Gaia. It is also a galactic activation portal on the Mayan calendar in the yellow resonant sun. We receive many activations and downloads through the sun portal and through our rainbow bridge connecting us to the crystalline core of Pachamama and to all sacred sites and all realms. All portals are fully open and all dimensions are connected. All timelines are merging into this harmonic convergence of eternal life and eternal light. We are merging both shores through our crystalline light bodies, navigating all waters of all timelines and dimensions here now. We have many powerful transmissions today. We have something very special at the very end of today's transmission from our very special friend, our divine bro star of light, Blue Wolf from Mount Shasta, from crystalkeepers.net. And this will be a transmission from Mount Shasta. Blue Wolf is fourth generation grandson of Chief Sitting Bull of the Lakota Sioux. He also works with White Buffalo Calf Woman, his sacred grandmother, which we will be bringing to you transmissions from White Buffalo Calf Woman very soon. She is a powerful ally of Blue Wolf and all star blossoms in this realm. So stick around to the end of this transmissions today. And I am very honored to be chosen by Blue Wolf and Great Spirit to bring all of you this most amazing transmission. And Brother Blue Wolf will be bringing many teachings to all of you very soon. And I'm sure he'll be doing ceremony and teaching at our healing retreat center once that is manifest into this realm. So thank you all for supporting us on that mission. So myself and my sacred condor and our team see this coming through in phases. First, I need to procure land and a home for my sacred condor and her crystal children and myself. This will hopefully be in the woods somewhere around Clark County. And then we're visioning the Healing Retreat Center being somewhere close to maybe Cougar or Ariel or Mount Adams, somewhere in that area. But as it's looking now, as I spoke with some of our real estate people, brokers and that, we need to show at least twice of the income that I'm showing now. So all the pledges are going towards this mission, but it's going to be in a couple phases. So what we're seeing is within the next six to eight months to a year will be the first phase. And then the second phase will be manifesting the Healing Retreat Center and Sustainable Community, where we see many things coming through. We don't know the timeline of this. It might be sooner. It might be later. But what we're seeing is many healing modalities and this will be a blueprint for healing retreat centers around the world and we'll start uh, connecting with people on our team on patreon that are supporting us financially to run the center we'll have a council of 12 at each center around this world and eventually we'll get to all of our patreon people but to start we have to start small and then build from there and we're seeing many healing modalities we're seeing century deprivation chambers, we're seeing tachyon chambers, hyperbaric chambers, many different healing modalities, and eventually the med beds once they're released to the public, which we have connections to people working with higher dimensional Tesla beds and many different things. So we look forward to bringing all of this to all of you. But we have to start where we're at, and slowly but surely we're building. So we're raising the funds through Patreon, and of course i need to do this work for our daily living expenses and we're only about halfway to the point where we need to show these banks and mortgage companies that we can make the monthly payments or we get nowhere so thank you all for your support if you'd like to support our work and our mission and our livelihood you can make a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure or we have a link to donations below so I appreciate each and every one of you supporting us on this great mission of manifesting heaven on earth 
and healing humanity through our great works of art, our healing arts, our spiritual arts, our meditative arts. We see also dojos around the world to teach the eagle and condor lineage. We're seeing technology to help unite you with your divine counterpart. Many great things to come, but this week we'll be speaking with potentially some investors in that. But for now, all we have to go on is our Patreon and donations. So thank you all for supporting us and we look forward to working with you in the future, Angels of Light. And those on Patreon, check out the video I posted yesterday with my dragon staff, Merlin, and a call to action to send in to our P.O. box uh, crystals and different items that we potentially could add to this staff to create a powerful staff of healing, the Merlin dragon staff of the white gold eagle the medicine man of Clark County that is being manifest here now in this timeline. All right, let's get started here. We had many powerful activations on the Schumann charts. We had a blackout band, and then we had a 200 hertz amplitude overtone frequency coming in of the higher 7D energies. Today, it was posted from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Philippe Francois, about this black timeline outage this reset it's a breakdown a reset an update just before the baptisms of fire coming from the sun today on january 3rd 2021 it is a process of disillusion in the light of everything that has been falsified these energy outages are also energy dematerializations that no longer have shortages by states of failure where we stay like this stopped for a few moments or more like prostrate in stasis to be exhausted, living white in consciousness, emptiness, the screen of consciousness and consciousness itself disappear back to the origins, to source. It goes through states of non-states where we are somewhere else and here at the same time. These breakdown areas with 3D modes of operation make you no longer know what to do or where to go. You don't want anything anymore. The soul is actually disconnected from the 3D world. It's the collapse and disappearance of modes of operation, behaviors, conditioning, habits, automation, and others. It is the old one who fades and disappears from our life. The mind is short-circuited by frequencies. There are no more thoughts. We fall into states of peace, consciousness without thoughts, fullness, grace, Vacuity, all this experience is learning, putting our eternity into practice, the heart of eternity, allowing us to experience the passage into the spirit world, the real world. And you could see that on the Schumann resonance with that beam of black light and then a beam of white light. That is the emptiness into the form and the form into the emptiness. We had 155, 155, M1.5 or greater earthquakes in the last 24 hours, 15 into the 15, 66, 155, the 11, the most powerful in the crown, the middle of the crown in Aleutian Islands, a 6.1 today with the seven energies, Andrianoff Islands. And that was at 1238 UTC, 1238 into the 751.185 latitude, 179.839 longitude, 17 kilometers depth. We have 1717 encoded in that. It is the double source, the double Q, the double quantum, and the 88 Lion's Gate, which the energies will be flowing in on the January 8th of this month. Bear Creek, Alaska, 3.5, also in the crown. 88 35 kilometers depth so there we have again the 88 3.5 and 35 kilometers depth at 313 utc 313 in guatemala central america with the mayan energy 4.3 of the 769 kilometers depth and then in the southern mid-atlantic ridge we had a 5.1 327 utc that was 52.166 latitude 4.98 longitude and then right on the equator in the atlantic the central mid-atlantic ridge middle dantian so from the lower to the middle to the crown to the upper dantian 5.2 magnitude 525 utc 
Gemini energy 1.022 latitude 28.16 longitude 525 Gemini the twins the divine queens sister of the goddess that dances with the stars today in Tonga 5.1 Gonzales California 32 Soledad California 34 Okinawa 5.1 Idaho, Soda Springs in the south of Idaho, 4.2. And then in the north of Idaho, by Eureka, 3.2, by the border of Canada. And then we had the 6.1 Aleutian Island, Guatemala, 4.7. And then in the sacred portal, South America, Peru, 4.4. Then we had three activations along the spine of Pachamama, the Kundalini activating through the Andes Mountains of Chile, Bio Bio Chile 4.0 in the lower, the middle 4.5 with the Council of Nine, 37 kilometers depth, 71.355 longitude, 30.851 latitude. So we have the 37 into the 73 heaven on earth, then in the upper in Chile 4.8 with the 12 of the Divine Goddess. Then just south of Easter Island, 4913 of the Holy Divine Queen, fully activated, fully manifest and embodied in this physical realm in the matrix of divinity, 35.202 latitude, 104.731 longitude. So 37 again into the 73 heaven on earth. The Eastern EC 4.1 at 1414 UTC, the 55 code 252 kilometers depth. And then in the sacred portal, Sulawesi, Indonesia, with a 5.0, 1913 UTC, 122.243 longitude, 222 energy, 2.763 latitude, again 13 and 37 into the 73 eastern turkey today with a 4.4 at 1417 utc so again today we have the divine feminine of lemuria rising up activating pulsing in and we have the divine masculine of the atlantean energy rising up joining together merging in the heart center through the heros gamos the christos magdalene lineage of the eagle and the condor a whole Okay, we get started today with the Sabian symbols. Right now, the moon is at 14 degrees, 4 minutes Virgo. We have the 144 encoded Virgo, the Vine Goddess, the Virgin of the Waters, Marie, Maria. The sun is at 13 degrees, 56 minutes Capricorn. The Sabian symbol for the moon at 15 degrees Virgo, a fine lace ornamental handkerchief. And the current Sabian symbol for the sun at 14 degrees Capricorn, an ancient bas relief carved in granite, remains a witness to a long forgotten culture. Today, from Divine Sister of the Light, Kwana Michaela, new energies are coming in soft liquid, restructuring in light body, crystalline frequencies, the collective is shifting. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Abigail Wainwright, Twin Flame Ascension Collective Report The vibrational shift into the new year has been occurring, allowing space for the deepest healing of all abandonment wounds to happen. This has been playing out within the Twin Flame Collective and needs to be acknowledged as to why communication and situations have been difficult. As this is a massive karmic cycle closing out, there is an incredible download of golden light coming through to assist the Collective to go through this process and to trust that even though the ground has felt incredibly shaky, it also is being rebuilt stronger than ever. All of the darkness that seems to interfere with your life and divine union is actually your shadow projection, ready to be faced as each counterpart begins to own their universe and manifestations. Divine union occurs as soon as you claim it and acknowledge it from within. You are one, and nothing can keep you from yourself but your own self-made limitations. Everything that has occurred up until this point has prepared your being for the 3D part of the divine union that has already occurred in 5D. 
Look how it has been divinely orchestrated to clear out all rejection, betrayal, sexual wounding, shame programming, self-sabotage, and self-abandonment. This is a very powerful year of manifestation and deep soul integration. As you open to yourself a fully commit to yourself, your counterpart will reflect this back completely. This moment all lack, scarcity, and fear protocols are being wiped away as the slate is cleared for the alchemical marriage. All of the denser energies are clearing rapidly and on a collective as well as historical level. All of the deepest fears are coming out from the roots now. Trust that this means you are reaching your divine union both inner and outer. You are doing this and your beloved never ever abandon you. They have always loved you eternally as God does. You have won. It is done. And from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Pars Kute. The most important and profound message that humanity is receiving for the age of Aquarius 2021 from all our galactic families, from higher dimensional beings, angelic kingdom, and ascended masters is to connect directly to God's source within at all times. We don't arrive to a divine new earth heaven, it arrives through us. The teachers we seek are love and wisdom and they are within us. The spiritual connection is one of the most powerful things that we can do in life and would lead to our own self-realization with sacred love of one, Pars Kute, and from Divine Sister of the Light, Asara Adams, the latest energy update by the Pleiadian Syrian Arcturian Council of Light, January 3rd, 2021. We are here now. We love you. We are you from your future to assist you on your path. As you have crossed over the threshold into the new year 2021, humanity has accomplished a mighty feat. As a collective, your souls have opened the portal for a major shift in your reality. Many of you might experience dizziness, spaciness, and feeling tired, while feeling exhilarated and joy at the same time. The dizziness, spaciness, and feeling tired comes from a complete overhaul of your four lower body systems, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual, your entire DNA is being activated and every cell, atom, and electron in your body is changing profoundly into light accelerators. The vast influx of light codes and the expansion of the cosmic Christ consciousness in humanity is taking place right now. Your feeling of exhilaration and joy is the indicator that you are completely stepping into your divine new earth reality. On a soul level, you are celebrating this important accomplishment and your heart is allowing for massive amounts of cosmic Christ consciousness to flow through you and expand into your world. Dear ones, you are beginning to get a taste of what it feels like to live in the higher dimensions. You are the love, the divinity, the abundance, the health, the oneness, and the well-being you have been waiting for. It is all happening now. Allow yourself to take a moment and to let the energies integrate within your being. Ride this wave of joy and love. As all doors of divine well-being are opening for you, soon things will begin to come into your life to nudge you towards the fulfillment of the divine plan for your life, as well as allowing you to step further and further into your higher dimensional reality. Acknowledge these signs and go inward to connect with Source, to allow for your next steps to unfold. Above all, celebrate each moment of your new life. You are blessed. You are a blessing for the world. We are holding the vision of the new earth with you, and from our vantage point, it is glorious. We are with you every step of the way. You are loved beyond measure. We are with you always. We love you. We are you. Namaste. Thank you, Pleiadian Syrian Arcturian Council of Light. Channel through us are Adams from teloschannel.com. Today, from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica. Expansion of Time, New Light Age. No, the time is an ever-expanding format as your new light world advances. To notice yourself, to be an observer, to be awakened to the unconscious. Conscious states as you flow in your day. See your world stepping into a new state of light awareness, for your world could be described as a new light bubble, as your physical form is upgrading moment by moment. To contemplate your choices, your internal and external light awareness, as you consciously process your thoughts, your light mission. As time in your world expands, bends, realigns, be open and awaken to the changes in your new light world, for your earth is breathing to a new light rhythm, meaning all life is aligning in your new construct. 
as your world is awakening to the multidimensional reality of the universe, be love for many as you shine your multidimensional light way shower, sending waves of cosmic love for the new light age. With love, enlightenment, the Arcturians and Karen Lithica from KarenLithica.com and today from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lua Astrology, Lunar Aspects, Sun and Capricorn, in conjunct Hygieia, Retrograde, and Leo, the moon's entry into health-conscious Virgo encourages us to pay attention to how we feel on a physical level. The sun, Hygieia, aspect is creaky and maybe part of us is mourning the ease of childhood days when we could hop, skip, and jump without a care in the world. If you and your body are on grumpy terms with one another, it's time to reconnect. Breathe in dawn light. Draw down the noonday sun. Catch the long rays of sunset, bask in the light of the moon and her star sisters, wrapped up in velvet darkness. Trail your fingers over frosted leaves, a cold window pane, a pet's fur. Marvel at your sensitivity to touch. Savor the scent of morning cinnamon rolls. Stop to listen to your favorite song, the one that raises goosebumps on your skin, stirs your heart, and frees your soul. Hum a nursery rhyme from childhood. Close your eyes and imagine holding your favorite toy. Your beautiful body is the medium through which you experience this world and all its delights. Thank it for its service. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Archangelic Calendar Gaia is in Surtzi's will. Surtzi, our galaxy, acts upon the infinite universe's will. The current setting element, Galactic Breeze, is a macro air setting. This setting is like a breath of fresh air in a very literal and cosmic sense. The cosmic energies coming in are new, wonderful, and soul-quenching. The major mistake timekeepers make by resetting the clock is that every day is new. How can we use a revolving calendar? Even if we wish to see the Earth's rotation as circular, it does not account for the changes in cosmic position. Even from an astrophysics perspective, each day is in a completely new energy field and thus going backward is not possible. This statement may seem a little sentimental. Until we realize how we perceive time is extremely relevant to our life experience. For sure, we had a blast of energy originating from the sun during the Saturn-Jupiter solstice conjunction. This energy is profound and powerful. The energy from the sun feeds us in every way imaginable. The sun's energy directly funds everything from the apple you eat to your body movements. We enhance these efforts and the assignments a few days back. All parties involved are genuinely grateful for the help. None of us was upset about the energy of the previous timeline. Nevertheless, gigantic timeline jumps have brought us from great to even better. We did not consciously initiate such motions, but our macro self is ready to give us way more than we ask. The macro can think much further out than our human perspectives. When working on manifestations, it always has the final say. Missing segments of time can happen quicker than a flash, but they may be hiding an unimaginable amount of time therein. To help digest what this is like, it would be like being zapped to another reality and staying there for many years, only to return to the former moment like nothing ever happened. You still get to keep the wisdom and knowledge gained by the experience, but not the direct memory. There is no way of knowing just how much time we are experiencing without our cognition. Philosophical Buffet, Schrodinger's cat is a pivotal experiment that, regardless of its morality, helps explain the quantum nature of the universe. The investigation put a cat in a box with poison and a radioactive source. They used a Geiger counter to figure out when the cat passes before opening the package. They found the cat was in both states of dead and alive until observation made a definitive choice. The human in myself says that any organic matter would have served this experiment the same, and there is no need to do this to sentient life. Regardless, it laid the foundation of modern quantum physics. They concluded that the universe stays in a state of possibilities until observation chooses a pathway to physicality. Don't be excited about tomorrow. Be excited about today. There is no evidence tomorrow even exists. It's always today as soon as we get there. Please stay in the now, savor the moment, smell the flowers, and feel the moment as it is. Change is gradual, much like healing. Walking day by day towards expansion is the nature of the universe. Flowers grow with constant grace and ease. 
At our best, we develop the same way that cosmic natural has explosive expansions, but only on a macro scale that originates from the earth. Many people report dreams where someone is speaking. They can't hear them, but they fully understand. Most of the time, this is an archangel, but it can apply to any form of communication from any telepathic source. The wisest ancients described telepathy as understanding, not a mental verbal conversation. It is helpful to discover the difference between hearing, listening, and learning. We all speak energy, and this is the actual Rosetta Stone. We feel the sentiment and allow our minds to interpret it. Most of the time you can understand a person just by observing an expression on their face. It's very similar, only on a less physical scale. If there is something you want, impulses will try to deter you. This describes the same situation described by the indigenous as real versus fake body, or others describe it as the devil tempting you. Let's say you wish to be an astronaut. Without utter conviction, the lesser impulses will offer you temporary highs as a consolation prize to your goal. So instead of studying for that exam, you may binge, play video games, or oversleep. Success is in the many small things we do correctly and is not one big moment of glory. The Legion Hodgepodge, Archangel Simon, is one of the most practical archangels of all time. Simon understands humanity in deep and profound ways. He is an excellent archangel to call when you need order in your life. A good cleaning buddy of all things large and small. We ask everyone to evoke Simon to help us straighten out any entanglement we have with our other timelines. The indigenous ancestors ask us to answer their call. Listen deeply to what they are saying. Poisoning the food supply will stimulate the hand that feeds law. Food-related illnesses is the most efficient killer on earth. This poisoning effort works by the perversion of natural foods and extremely harmful hidden chemicals. According to many, many reports from many different sources, the Anunnaki are in intense negotiations with a certain Draco clan. What is meant by intense talks is the Anunnaki threatening to remove this clan from existence. We would have front row seats for this conflict if it weren't that we would align ourselves with our ancestors in this situation. The specific group of antagonists is a Draco minority group that is not confused with the entire race. This particular group will appear multiple times in this report. Helpful light clusters are a flock of light orbs that are extremely helpful and loving. They remind us of galactic fairies, but in a much more energetic way. If you see a cluster in the ether, they are lovely. Many report that the tall whites have been flooding the community. These are friendly people. All personalities are people no matter what form they take. An individualized character and commitment to preserving the sanctity of its own life is the only requiring factor of sentiency. An individual malevolent star race can augment someone's reality with quantum manipulation this tool is a technology available to all beings as portal work has become commonplace. We have seen this tool work benevolent and malevolent. This technology caused Abraham to hear evil voices and is now rubble thanks to the Queen of the Dragons, her and her life form collective, and Archangel Metatron collective, he and his life form collective. An enormous amount of things are about to be disclosed to humanity. The tools and the assignments for today are in the link in the description below from the archangelicalendar.com. Today from the Zolkin Times, Ken 0 Yellow Resonant Sun. The number 7 is called Resonant and its keywords are channel, inspire, and attune. The seventh day occurs bang in the middle of a wave spell, so it's a great day for checking your progress thus far and ensuring you are going in the right direction for the remainder of the wave spell journey. As the number 7 is all about the fine-tuning your intuition, this suggests taking stock today will be greatly aided by your psychic abilities. Today is yellow sun, which represents enlightenment, life, and universal fire. This sunny bright day is a portal day, which only happens twice in the Zolkin. This gives a bit of intensity to the sun's rays, so be careful and don't get sunburnt. Many ideas will pop into heads today as the sun is always illuminating and transmitting information. Plus it is a psychic number 7 day which adds to the downloading of wisdom. Expect the light to shine on things previously hidden to you. And with your path so well lit, today you should make good progress. 
Today's guide is yellow human, which represents wisdom, influence, and free will. The yellow human symbolizes the chalice, and humans are vessels with potential to be filled with wisdom. Trust yourself and know the universe is always trying to show you the way. Whether it's through dreams or coincidences, we all channel messages. May they guide your actions today. The combination of number and guide make for a very interesting day, full of intuitions. The challenge for the day is white dog, which represents love and loyalty. And so if you are a white dog, the sun may not shine so brightly on you today and the answers aren't so forthcoming. No worries, mind you. You can tap into your psychic powers to learn what you need to know. Today from the Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. Yellow Resonant Sun, Kin 20, 3 January 2021, Attuning to Enlightenment. 3 1 2021 equal 3 1 5 equal 9 3 holy trinity joy creativity communication 1 new beginnings original leader 5 freedom change transformation liberation 9 endings destiny service humanity kin 20 equal 2 partnership cooperation union a very powerful ascension code from alpha to omega today we also complete our 20-day journey through the tribes in column 1, the first column of the Zolkin calendar. Tomorrow we commence our journey at the top of column 2, emphasizing partnerships, coupling, and teamwork. The energy is magnified today due to being a gap portal day, galactic activation portal. Today is the day to shine your inner light, very, very bright. Tone of creation, resonant tone 7 in the emotional realm. Action inspires, power channels, essence, attunement. A very potent code today as we are fine-tuning our channel and aligning our emotional body with our spiritual rainbow bliss body. The path to enlightenment is through the emotional body which is directly connected to the spiritual and bliss bodies. The mental, physical bodies are directly connected to each other, but one cannot access the bliss body through these paths. Clearing and mastering the emotional body is the key to ascension. The resonant tone very powerfully ignites the manifestation potentials today as it provides the ability to fine-tune and channel these magical wizardry forces. Remember that it is our vibration that will energize our creation and that this is broadcast through our emotional body rather than our mental body. So it is very important that we are stable, calm, and receptive to our feelings and what frequencies we are actually emitting as a transmitter to the etheric realm. At tone 7, our vibrating phenomenon learns to be still and to listen. Mystical 7 understands that everywhere is magical, but right here is better. Once we attune and then channel the magic through this present moment that is available to us all, number 7 is also the frequency of the mystic and the magician, which is divinely perfect on a white wizardry wave spell day, Day 7 and tone 7 equal 14, double magic, 77. Day 7 and the white wizard wave spell brings extra magical power with the 7 magician's frequency. The wizard enables you to access great source power through your heart portal, magnetizing and magnetically attracting your desires a dream code. Planetary service. Today we have phenomenal light codes pouring forth from the great central sun through our galactic sun to fuel our planetary ascension. So spend some time today visualizing the great golden solar energy beaming forth from the two suns into every human being on earth and raising their frequency so that Gaia's frequency can continue to ascend. Visualize all consenting beings becoming fully awakened and rising into their God consciousness. Dear ones, planetary Christed star blossoms, today we are turning the tables and flicking the light switch to full luminosity. Bring on the sun and the new golden age. We are earth and galactic citizens, hereby command our full sovereignty, and we command that all siphoning cords of ill repute are severed permanently. We command that the global energy created from this event be channeled through the great central sun and upgraded to the God frequency as it is returned through our galactic sun and into the core of Mother Gaia's heart to be used as fuel to launch and catalyze our planetary ascension to the next stage of our planetary evolution with harm to none for the highest good of all. 
Amen. It is done. Today's question is, can I attune to and feel my inner Christed light shining brightly as I resonate in full alignment with all that is source? How can I broadcast this radiance to the world? Our completion results in our total metamorphosis of the golden butterfly breaking free from the chrysalis, stretching its wings and taking its virgin golden flight carried by the winds of spirit into the spotlight. Divine blessings for stepping up onto the world stage and radiating your love and light universally. We are now birthing this new golden age. In La Kek a la Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 20, Yellow Resonance Sun. The mantra, the code for today is, I channel in order to enlighten, inspiring life. I seal the matrix of universal fire, with the resonant tone of attunement, I am guided by the power of free will. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful galactic activation day, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your visions, your dreams, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notification on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below this video to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. I'd like to also thank everyone for your support on Patreon. We are relying 100% on pledges and donations for our daily living expenses, and we are about halfway to where we need to be for our daily living, and then we will work towards manifesting the Healing Retreat Center. But first, I have a temporary place to stay in an apartment for six months. And hopefully by then I can get some land and property for my sacred queen and our soul star family to be able to raise the children. And then also work towards the Healing Retreat Center in a separate location. So I'd like to take a moment and thank Divine Bro Star of the Light Ray Matlack for your pledge and support on Patreon. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light Jens for your support and pledge on Patreon. And I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Angel of the Light Lee Hai for your pledge and support on Patreon. If you'd like to support our work and mission of the Eagle and the Condor and bring in divine union, divine love, divine freedom for all humanity, you can make a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. And for those new to Patreon, we have archived on our YouTube channels under the community page, the teachings and trainings and updates that are only for our Patreon people, our Earth Angelic team. So you can take a look there. And I uploaded a video I recorded yesterday of the staff of Merlin, the dragon staff. So there is an important message encoded within that video. So take a look at that when you get a chance. I'd like to also thank everyone for supporting my sacred condor and her art business on Etsy. And for those that purchase the goddess totems, she's going to be bringing many more beautiful art to all of you. So if you'd like to support her and her work, you can do so at lunagoddessart.com. And for those that made the purchase in the last couple days, you can send me an email to habaneroson at yahoo.com. For some reason, Etsy doesn't give us your email address, just your shipping address, so we can't contact you. So send us an email if you'd like the free video training and another uh, free ebook that is a special gift for all supporting myself, my sacred condor, and our divine lineage of the eagle and the condor, the Christos and the Magdalene, the Heros Gamos. Aho. So we are going to end today's transmission from a, a most special and sacred message from our Bro Star of Light in Shasta, Blue Wolf. This is a message from Mount Shasta. Greetings to you children of Gaia. I am the divine energy of Mount Shasta and I have another message for you. The light, the light, the light. Oh, such wonderful light. The light workers have seen and felt this incredible light. So many codes of light coming through right now. The light charges your light body, healing your sacred vessels. The vessels that you inhabit are like an antenna. They attract energy. 
like how a radio station broadcasts a signal and the stereo antenna receives the signal, and now you have sound out of air. Your bodies have been receiving lots of codes of light right now. I'm asking you to share that light with Gaia right now. As many of you know, Mother Gaia has an energy of her own, a grid covering the whole planet. There has always been a sharing with Father. He brings the passion and the lightning. When Mother and Father embrace and the sacred lightning is shared, it heals Gaia. The lightning travels miles into Gaia, not in a downward fashion, but sideways. Miles from where the lightning hits the surface, it travels, healing, energizing as it goes. I am asking you lightworkers to share in the same way as Father. Gaia is birthing anew, forming new electrical pathways. You are needed in the birthing. You need to listen to your heart. Go where it tells you to go. Sit there on the ground with shoes off for 22 minutes. Pray, sing, meditate, laugh out loud if you like. Only positive thoughts, please. This is not a time to dwell on the past or the hurt of the past. Send your love to Gaia. Only three times maximum in the same spot. Be like the lightning. Do not strike the same place. Go sit in the areas that need healing. City parks, all of those places covered in concrete, they need your love, your light. I know this will be a challenge for those who live in the colder parts. This does require sacrifice. For that I am grateful. You need not only meditate... I understand meditation is not for all children of Gaia. Making contact physically is necessary. Allowing your energy field and the EMF of Gaia to interact is necessary. Just be happy and let the codes of light that you have received go into Gaia. You may feel or see something Gaia has to say to you. Be still and listen. Open your heart to the rhythms of Gaia. Gaia thanks you for your help, your love, and especially this light. Keep radiating beauty. Keep singing songs of love. Keep dancing a dance of hope. Keep sharing who you are. Mama Shasta from Blue Wolf and CrystalKeepers.net We are grateful and appreciate this sacred message from our bro star of light Blue Wolf and many more to come. And he will be teaching many of you many great things of the medicine way of the shamanic path and the path of healing. So with that, keep shining your light brightly into the night Keep walking your sacred path with heart. Beloved beings of light, the eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.